Come on, I'm on the telly. Quick, say something. Ready? Okay. I considered waxing my thought, why not give Australia a special treat on a Sunday night? You see, my name's Ryan. So when I have an idea, it's a rye dear. I felt like I tried everything. Mate, you look like you've tried everything. Yeah, I have. I'm just spending a lot of time at home and masturbating heaps. You're a liar. He's a liar. Well, even I'm a liar. I'm a television reporter. That was confronting. That was. I was lifted by the buttocks. You're surprisingly you. light. <laughs> I try to help. It's like lifting a masculine girl. <laughs> In a good way. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, what's my favourite memory? Oh, okay, that's... Bit of casual banter first. Bit of you casual banter. Thing. So, uh, <laughs> then move into memory. Um, I, Thank I, you for having me on the show. Good. <laughs> like your my the favorite way memory. You, yes. Good. <laughs> When I look back, I, mean, I was lucky enough to come to New York with the show. It was, we yeah. did the show from Times Square, and it was an amazing experience. And um, but one bit actually, at, at the end of the show, we had to do the last segment from the centre of Times Square, like in what's called Military Island. And we actually got NYPD to stop traffic. Yes, and it was unbelievable. Jimmy Smith, Dennis Franz, like, I, I, I didn't see that. They're stopping traffic for us. I said they stopped traffic first, then you came in. <laughs> so I, I added the literally part. Oh, that's true. That's I like the true. fact that as soon as I steal your line, security just surround me. Yeah. <laughs> and right before the show, you asked me to say how much I loved your bit in New York. No! Where you I, didn't the bit. I didn't really like the bit in the first place, to be honest. But, no, but I, I said, I'll do it anyway. But that bit where you went to Broadway school in New York was... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I do know about show is, is that first impressions... Welcome to New York. What's, what's the first thing that we're doing? We're going to um, re rehearse today. Cats? No, damn Yankees at the Camp Broadway Man. Just follow me. We do the same exact thing. That's right. Thanks, Courtney. <laughs> this was the debut performance of my new musical. <laughs> I'm currently uh, writing my own Broadway musical uh, called One Strong Heart, The John Farnham Story. <laughs> John Farnham's manager, Glenn Wheatley, is uh, our own camper here, uh, Nathan Kay. I think maybe I'm getting too old for this. Oh, come on, Farnsey, we've been through this before. You're at the top of your game. Maybe. You're an Australian legend. You are the voice. We have the chance to turn. The page is over. There you go. Yeah. That's powerful. Yeah. Powerful. No one knows that I have an amazing voice, so it's good every now and again. It's good that everyone people. gets to see how great you can sing. Yeah. Yeah. At this point, of course, we've had a lot of people asking in the audience, um, you know, hey, there's a particular segment of the show that we haven't seen in a long time. Are you going to be showing it tonight? Yes. Uh, there was a period for about six years where... We used to get a lot of these sort of things. What the? What the? What the? My boat. For sale, a coffin never used, bought in the heat of the moment. <laughs> Due to unforeseen circumstances, the psychic F boat has been cancelled. What the, Daddy O? Ew, what the? What the? If that doll wasn't creepy enough on its own, check out its own. <laughs> Cats are fighting. Oh, yeah, they're fighting each other's brains out. You know, if they were doing something a little more creative, maybe it would get through. And he said, what? You mean like this? <laughs> and the parrot has come down for a bit of a peck of some seed. <laughs> I love to entertain by just opening up a fanny. <laughs> Announcing the engagement of Derek and Brenda, or as their surnames say, Fitzner Swap. <laughs> Advertising a lovely home. A double lock-up garage with remote doors and inter-anal accent. <laughs> Westpac letter there. Dear Miss Collins, yours sincerely. 
Every day is Valentine's Day since you left me for my brother. I happen to think it looks like Camel 10 News reader Sandra Sully. Look at that. Why not listen along as Derek Bell plays with himself. Catch Dennis Olsen as he presents a night of songs and snatches. By the way, they're both carols. On the back, a little message here from Gran. If you don't receive this, let me know. A cute, friendly little koala, or is it? The lost dog time. And there's another picture here of a dog looking for a home. Don't know why he hasn't found one yet. This is one of the most horrible lookalikes I think I've ever seen. If you'd like to go and visit the place, well, there's a map on the back. We are here. She was uh, enjoying herself a burger, the Big Chief Burger. Well, it seems like that wasn't the only Big Chief that we can see. It's funny because you look like you had a big penis. Very big penis. And although this will get them in, of course, if you have a what, then you can send it to 22 Bendigo Street, Richmond, Victoria, 3121. <laughs> I actually, and I know my bit's over, but I wouldn't mind jumping in here. Um, I, I actually really liked Watha, and, and so much so that over the years before I was actually on the show, I sent in like tens, if not thousands, of Wathas to the show, but they were never ever read out. Well, never. You just ignored me. Well, all, there was plenty of them. We couldn't all. All I got back was this postcard over and over again that said, "Dear Brian, I'll never use these ever." <laughs> I thought tonight, with your permission and everyone else's permission. I thought I could bring back what the for a special reunion edition that we can all enjoy one last time. What do you say? Woo! Now it's time for what the. <laughs> Here's an interesting one I got sent in. Oh, it's funny. Um, <laughs> this is from Ryan Shelton. Uh, Finally. This is um, what looks like just a bunch of friends hanging out at the golf, you know, playing golf, you know, just <laughs> driving a buggy around for a normal round. But if you look closely, they're all kids, so who's got the licence to drive the buggy? <laughs> what the...? <laughs> Here's another one. Interesting one. Um, this is unnamed, but I assume it's from me. Um, this is just what looks like a regular article, hey? Regular headline. It does. It looks very regular. Teachers' tricks make memory fun, which is a very normal headline, not funny yet, but I had a bit of a tinker with it, Rove, and if you remove just a few of the letters, have a look what it says. <laughs> Graham with an H. What? No, Rove isn't 10, the show's 10. Rove's a fully grown man. Well, look, I would be more than happy to meet you for a drink, but Greg's a girl's name, right? <laughs> OK, fine. Go to Rove Daily, and I think you'll find you'll have more like at beerhats.com. That's why they call it phone sex. Do we get anything for answering these calls? Yeah, sexy new Corolla. It's parked out the front. Huh? There is nothing sexy about this. Just take it for a spin. Mate, this is an old person's car. It's the world's most popular small car. Just wait till it hits 60. <laughs> Holy Corolla. I know. How good is this technology they've created in the last 10 years? What is that? Crazy, right? CD player. Wow. After 10 years, Toyota congratulates Rove by giving its viewers a chance to win a brand new Toyota Corolla. Log on to Rove Daily and tell us about your love affair with your old car and why you need to move into a sexy new Corolla. And don't worry, Nick and Hado won't have been anywhere near yours. Well, I guess it's true what they say. Sure is. Oh, what a feeling. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> freezing mid-air. What is going on? What are you doing? 